Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be perma brewing a carpet of spikes on the spike battery with the top path fit tier upgrade on the Alchemist, right? I saw a lot of comments about this, and y'all told me this should be pretty OP, all right? So without further ado, let's hop right into this video. All right, boys, so we're going to get Striker on the Mount Castle Ruins, and I'm using Ocean Open Ninja Alchemist Spike Battery, all right? So. Yeah, this strategy is a little bit wacky, not gonna lie, and that's because it is, all right? But I still need to grind XP for both the Ninja and the Alchemist, and then we have the Spike Factory because we want to see how OP a Perma Brood Carbon Spikes on the Spike Factory can be, okay? So, the Perma Brood is the top path upgrade on the Alchemist, all right? We did showcase that for a video. We got the first blood. No shot, we got first blood. <laughs> Get go, boys. All right, so that's a huge, huge deal because then going into round 40, we will have the life advantage. I think we, though, yeah, we leaked one or two lives right there. Okay, so let's go for the uh, double shot here, right? And hopefully with this double shot, we can fully defend against all these blues here. Please, 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 please. No, we can't. No, come on. Come on, Ninja. The Ninja is not a good start tower, okay? So that, that, I guess that's kind of on me. Now he has a life advantage, man. But Cast Ruins is like a medium-sized map, okay? So... Hopefully, like, we don't even have to worry about that, all right? Yeah, we ended up leaking down to 141. That, that is really unfortunate, man. And he's going with the Tax Shooter, bro. Tax Shooter is such a good early game tower, bro. You just hate, you hate to see it. You hate to see it, all right? But, yes, we are going to be perma-brewing a Carpus Spikes because the last time that I used the perma-brew, I perma-brewed um, in MAD. And a lot of you in the comments were like, listen, Boltrix, all right? You should not perma-brew an MAD. It's just not the way to go. Perma-brewing towers like the Spike Factory are much, much better, all right? Specifically, the Carpus of Spikes. So... I'm going to listen to y'all, right? And we're going to be trying it out for today's video. And hopefully he ends up rushing us so we get to showcase how OP it's going to be for us, all right? And we got to make sure that we can afford going for both the Carpenter Spikes and the Permanent Brew by round 30, all right? The Permanent Brew is $55,000 and the Carpenter Spikes is $40,000, okay? So it's not cheap by any means, okay? So we got to make sure that we play our cards right, and we should be chilling. I'm going to go, by the way, uh, for this Alchemist right here, right? We're going to go for the top path here. We're going to set this bad boy too strong to help us out against all of these space whites here, right? Because I don't think... Oh, my God. Yeah, we definitely cannot fully defend against all of this. We definitely cannot. Do I need to tower boost this? Do I seriously... Bro, come on. Come on, Ninja. I thought you'd do a little bit better for me. I thought you'd do a little bit better. Are you kidding me, bro? That is terrible. That is so bad, all right? But once we go for this top path Berserker Brew, now we should be absolutely chilling. I can't believe it did that poorly against Space Whites. That is so that is so disappointing, man. Double shot should absolutely shred that, I feel like. Uh, but it's fine, okay? We're chilling. We got up the 3-0-0 zero, zero now. And I'm going to probably try to eco here with Yellow Balloons as much as I can here on round 7, all right? Because... Yeah, we need to get up our eco. It's only at 570 currently, so that, that's not good, okay? That's not good. He's got that tax shooter, by the way, so he's going to be absolutely chilling, I think. Oh, wait, he might make a few lives here. Maybe, but we leaked down to 106, so we're not going to get that life advantage back. That, that's really just unfortunate, man. That tax shooter spot is just goaded, bro. Look at it. It's going in right now. Oh, my God, and he ended up barely leaking down, too. That is just unfortunate. Okay, so I'm going to try to hit maybe like 750 eco here, and then we'll call it a day. Oh, wait, he leaked down to 123. But I think he upgraded this other tax shooter here. Yeah, he went for a bottom path. Yeah. Okay, so he, he, he's fine. He's chilling. And we should, I think, be chilling against all of these as long as this ninja has the buff from the alchemist, right? Once it goes away, yeah, look, it starts to do way worse. Start to do way, way worse. So we're going to absolutely need uh, the balloon jitsu upgrade here in a second, okay? So do I need to tower boost this? Please, please, please. Tell me we don't. Tell me we don't. I think we're chilling. We barely are chilling. Oh my god. This is so scary, bro. This is so scary, but trust, this combination is actually super, super solid once you get the proper upgrades, okay? Round 10 is here, so let's start ecoing with these blue balloons. I'm going to finally go for the balloon jitsu, and now we need to save up money for the stronger stimulator, right? So, the balloon jitsu costs $2,750, and this stronger stimulant costs $2,500. What is the better upgrade to go for first? I normally go with the balloon jitsu, that's why we already went for that. Um, but I don't know. Stronger stimulant is such a good upgrade as well. So maybe going for that would be the better case. I, I don't really know. Okay. But he's got that overdrive there. Dude, wait, we can make him leak. A single overdrive cannot defend against multiple things, bro. I'm making him leak down. I don't even care. Now, I don't want him to die though. That's the bad, like, that's kind of the bad thing. But if we could get a life advantage back, that would be so, so clutch here. All right. So just a little rush, just a little rush. All right. He might, I don't know. I don't want to send more. I don't want to send more. I don't want to send more. Uh, he tower boosted. Okay. We'll take that. We'll take that. And he leaked down even more. Oh, please tell me we got the life advantage. Please tell me we got the life advantage back. 
Please tell me that's a life advantage right there. It is a life advantage. Let's go. That was perfect. That was literally perfect, man. He's down to 99. We're at 106. Oh my god, I'm so hyped about that. All right, so let's go for stronger stimulant here. I'm actually going to put this back on the first, okay? And I'll eventually go for middle path to right, but he's not even equaling right now. He went for top path too. I think primary training that is, all right? So that's obviously going to help him out a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go for middle path here. I think we're fine against these regen rainbows. I honestly think we're fine. Um, okay, I'm going to tower boost that just to be safe. We're still chilling. Let's go, baby, all right? Don't mess with Ninja Alchemist. This combination is OP. We are down two tower boosts, okay? So that is obviously a little bit unfortunate. But hopefully, we, we still can make things work out, all right? Um, because he has to rush us now going around 40, man. I'm, I'm just so hyped about that. I never have the life advantage, I swear. For all my videos, bro. Because, like, I'm just, like, using towers that are outside of the meta. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not using a goaded strategy every single video. So, sometimes I just leak down a lot during the early game rounds. And there's really nothing I can do about it, all right? But round 17 is here, ladies and gentlemen. He might send us a fortified... Actually, no. Just a regular map. But I honestly think we should be fine if he wants to end up doing that, all right? And I think I'm going to play this safer, right? We don't know if Striker is going to be aggressive on, like, round 22, for example, with ZMGs. So I'm going to continue on ecoing with these yellow balloons all the way up until round 20. Just so we have a little bit of money saved up in case he wants to send us a rusher, right? I know it sucks, man. But this is not my first attempt with this video, man. And everybody and their mother is being aggressive towards me because... Like, Ninja Alki is a good combination, but ZOMGs in this game are quite hard to defend against at the same time, okay? So, let's see what happens here, though, against uh, round 18. No, okay, I thought he was about to send us a 45 mod because he did stop equaling, but he's right back at it with pinks, okay? So, oh, no, now back with the yells. Why does he keep on switching up on me, man? I was about to say, maybe I should switch over to the pinks if he's equaling pinks, you know? Like, that wouldn't be a bad idea. He could also go for a bottom path village, but I guess he just doesn't really know that. Um, because, dude, like, bottom path village obviously would increase the amount of money that he gets from sending Nico, so that would definitely, definitely help him out. He went for an Inferno rank. Interesting, alright? So, yeah, let's switch over to the E1 with Pinks, okay? So, I was, like, saying, yeah, let's play this save. You know, he, he could rush us on round 22. No, screw that. He, he's sending the Pinks. No, now he's back to yellows. Bro, stop. Dude, he, he's playing games. He's freaking playing games with me, boys. Okay, so can we defend against all these? Oh, yeah, we're chilling. We are chilling, boys. Okay, so we could go... You know what? Carpet of Spikes. Where's Carpet of Spikes going to be OP? I'm thinking either here or here. Um, I guess we'll go for Carpet of Spikes right here. Okay? That will be our Carpet of Spikes. We should be chilling against all of these balloons here, by the way, I think. Okay? AI mob on his side. Really push. He might even leak against that. Yeah, he did. I think he leaked like one or two lives. Wow, he did. Down to 97 now. Okay, so... Good thing is, though, round 21 is here. He's still equaling pretty hard towards us. I think I'm going to have to go for another balloon jitsu. It looks like I have to, okay? So, yeah. Let's go for a 0, zero, zero right here. And we're going to see what happens here because I'm, I'm actually struggling right now uh, to his constant eco. And on top of that, the AI, right? But if we get up another balloon jitsu, I think we should be absolutely chilling. Okay, so, yeah. We have all the money in the world. Let's just go for another balloon jitsu just to help us out. And now we should be chilling. We've got to watch out for round 26 DDTs, okay? So... Uh, we gotta make sure that we have a few spike storms up in order to defend against those, right? Because the ninjas are absolutely gonna do nothing for us against those, okay? We could go for a Sabo, though. Those could help stall DDTs for us, so that's not out of the picture. Fortify Ceramics here on round 23. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I remember this because, dude, I've been playing a lot of DTD6 with my friends, actually. And I'm kind of learning, like, the AI rounds more, you know? Like, I know, like, when camos come out. So, round 24. So, in this game, if you don't know, it's halved. So, round 24, BTD6 is the first camo green. In this game, it's going to be round 12, okay? Round 46 is when Fortified Ceramics come out in BTD6. Round 23 in this game is when Fortified Ceramics come out, all right? So, that's cool. A little tip if you did not know, all right? But round 24 is here. Um, I'm gonna go for this spike factory or spike storm right here. The best craft path when going for the carpet spikes is going to be the 250. It is within range also too, of course, uh, with this permanent brew, right? So it can get that effect eventually when we can go for it. Um, but yeah, I want to go to then I guess for another spike storm. We got tentacles too to help us out. Okay, so that is really, really good as well. And we can get some extra money from that too. Okay, so dude, he's got it. Oh, he's got spike factory too. Oh my God. We got to send him a heart for that. Oh my goodness, I did not expect this guy to have the Spike Factory. That is so awesome because, like, you never see the Spike Factory anymore, man. And he said us a heart. Dude, this guy's so nice. This guy's so nice, man. Let's go for another Spike Storm, though. Oh, yeah, we got, we still got a lot of money here, okay? So, I'm just gonna spam, like, these Spike Storms 
in the middle of the map, okay? We shouldn't have to worry about space DDTs, though. Round 28, though, he can send us group DDTs, okay? So we might have to watch out for that. Ooh, he should have set the spike storms more in the middle of the map. Because, like, now the spikes are just getting eaten up by all these AI balloons. Because he has, like, nothing before those. So, yeah, I don't know if that was the player for him, okay? But let's go, I guess, for just another one right here. We have the money for it, I think. Just barely. Yes, we do. And then I'm going to go for tentacles here in a second as well. And we probably should stop ecoing here, too. Caster ruins, you know, we're not going to get that much eco on, you know? So that's why we only have 4,300 eco on round 26. But also, too, we don't even have the village. I, I feel like I always rock with the village when I go late game. Um, so I go for bottom path, so I get more eco. But unfortunately, we just do not have that, all right? So let's stop eco in here at 4,500 eco, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Now we're going to save up every dollar. Now, like, what should we go for first? Should we go for the permanent brew? I'm thinking the permanent brew because then the permanent brew is going to be able to permanently buff uh, these towers a little bit quicker for us okay so i feel like that's a little bit more important to go for and then after that we could sell off some of these spike batteries uh because there are seven thousand or they'll give us seven thousand dollars a piece so that would be like twenty one thousand dollars and then we can go for the carpet the spikes right because the carpet the spikes only forty thousand dollars but the permanent brew is fifty five thousand dollars all right so this doesn't come cheap by any means he went for an mib by the way good freaking looks with that man Honestly, he would still would die to DDTs. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, boys. There is no way. His overdrives are not in the greatest positions. Only like really this one right here. These other two, not really so much. I think he needs tag zone, honestly. Um, if he wants to be able to defend against those, all right? But it's his lucky day because we're not gonna be setting him one, all right? But we do have almost enough money to finally go for the permanent brewer, right? So let's get that on the map right now. Ooh, that range is insane! Holy! I'm like, yeah, I'm digging that, man. I'm digging that. I did not realize that it got increased range. Uh, one upgrade to that, all right? So that's pretty OP. Yo, he's going for a spike mines, bro. Are you serious? Is that going to really help you out? Is that going to really help you out? And he's still echoing, man. He's echoing so hard. So it says round 29. It is round 29, man. I hope, I really, really hope he rushes us here, okay? But got that extra money from the tentacles, all right? We still need about $11,000, but round 30 is here. Obviously, we're both shredding this, okay? Absolutely, freaking lootly. He went for primary mentoring, I think, um, <laughs> on that village there. Okay, so that's going to make his tax shoes a little bit better, but he still needs a tax zone at least. At least a tax zone, all right? But we have enough money to go for the carpet and spikes, all right? So there we go with that, ladies and gentlemen. It is already permanent brood as well, and I think all of these are permanent brood. Yes, they are. Every single tower we have so far is permanent brood. That is OP. That is really, really OP. Okay, so we have the life advantage. Now, I know, though, we, we're not going to be able to defend um up until round 40 with the strategy there's just no way we're on castle ruins um and the strategy i don't think is going to be able to handle because ramping this game is just absolutely insane he went for the tax zone though so i feel like he has no um plans of rushing us okay so if he ends the sentence of bad we could always always counter with ddt's okay if worse comes to worse so yeah i guess we're just gonna make our defenses better because we literally have no reason to rush it man i'm sorry striker but I respect the fact that you use the spike factory, but you have got to rush us whether you want to or not, my friend. And dude, look at him on his side. Oh my god. The four to five freaking mobs are getting through so much, man. Oh, dude, and he's got okay. Um, I don't know if you guys know with the recent updates, call to arms and like homeland, tower boost two do not affect um spike batteries when you use the spike storms, okay? So yeah, I don't know what he's doing with that. To be completely honest with y'all, right? But we have a lot of spike storms ready to go now on the map. Almost 10, actually. Okay, so uh, I guess we're just going to go for even more. Because we literally have nothing better to do. And he's probably just going to all out us on, like, round 38. And we're probably not even going to be close to defending. Uh, but let's see how many pops we have currently. Okay, so 28,000, 29,000 pops. So that's pretty good. Let's see, like, how many our ninjas have. Okay, 50,000 and 20,000. Alchemist, yeah, it's not for popping power. It's to buff up the towers, right? But... Yeah, it only has 1,800 pops. But, dude, things are actually looking pretty good. This, the carpet of spikes is going in, too. I don't know if, like, increases the rate that it spews out all the spikes. You know what I mean? Because, like, when you go for the carpet of spikes, like, right there. It just spews them out on its own. It's, like, using, a, you know, its own little freaking spike storm. I don't know if it increases that at a quicker rate or what, man. But uh, what I do know is we are freaking vibing right now oh but here comes a bad ladies and gentlemen all right so we're gonna see if we can defend against this all right he's probably gonna try to force us to use all of our spike storms which is most likely going to happen all right i don't think um oh wait 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 wait. we're kind of doing good right now because all of these are perma brood literally every single spike storm oh my god we're doing so good right now we're actually doing so good right now what 
Dude, wait, this is crazy, all right? So, yeah, I'm gonna tower boost this. I'm gonna use all these spike storms here. Oh my good, oh my God, I tabbed out. Oh, wait, oh, no, 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 no. We're not chilling, we're not chilling, we're not chilling, we're not chilling. All right, let's use a Sabo. And then I, I might have to counter here. Oh no. Wait, we're chilling, we're chilling. Wait, we're chilling, we're chilling. We're literally chill, what? What? No way, boys. No way, boys. We did so well against that. Oh my god. Look at the speed of this, though. Holy crap. I'm just gonna spam these spike storms here. Okay, and I need to use another Sabo here in a second. So yeah, let's use that. Alright. Alright, That's that looks really bad, though. I'm not gonna lie. That looks really, really bad. Oh no. I think we're dead here, boys. I think we're dead here. Wait! Oh my god. Oh my god, we defended. Oh my god, we defended. Oh my goodness, we defended. No way. No way, boys. Two fortified beauties on round 38? On round 38? Are you you're kidding me? And he said it as DDTs right now. Okay, so I'm gonna slow this down. Oh, dude, we're chilling. We're literally chilling. Oh my god. I'm gonna use another uh possibly one of these. Dude, no, we're literally chilling against fortified DDTs too. Oh my god, spike battery is so good. It's literally so good, man. Let's use all these abilities once again. Absolutely shredding all those fortified DDTs. And we win! Oh my goodness drop a like right now oh my god that was crazy dude rambi's insane in this game and we literally were shredding everything right there and got really really close but those spike storms came back in for us very very clutch moment right there right but i really hope you guys did enjoy today's video let me know on a scale of one to ten how you thought the carpenter spikes did in today's video but that is all i have for you guys it's been your bobo tricks or justin peace out everybody